Hello and welcome to the English online program of Anglais to Patu. This lesson is going to teach you about some expression and words related to this holy season. Ça veut dire que les choses que nous pourrions faire aujourd'hui, elles pourraient être basées sur une période de fin d'année, ça, que nous pourrions apprendre une expression avec vocabulaire. So, I believe that you're going to love this lesson. Thank you very much. Do not forget to subscribe and I'm coming just to detail them out for you. Expression in words of the holy season. What's the holy season? This season that we are now. For example, every December, people celebrate this holy season where you're going to have another year. That means that you're going to say something just to wish the person Happy New Year. This is the reason why I come with this lesson to help you to know some common expression in English and words related to this holy season. Expression ça yo avec vocabulaire ça qu'on pourra apprendre, on pourra baser sur période de fin d'année. Holy season. Holy season. A période de fin d'année. W I S H W E S H mon pote on sait ça comme wish. It's common. People like using this word. Mon yo reme utiliser mot ça yo, mot ça surtout. En pile, to say, I wish you a Merry Christmas, I wish you a Happy New Year. Ça, c'est le mot wish. What it means exactly. This word is used to express hope concerning the future. This word is used to express hope concerning the future. That means that you use this word to wish someone. Okay, to express something good or new in the future, something that is coming. Ou utilise mo sa pou kapap souhaite on moun on bagay kapral vini, on bagay soa de bon ki pral vini a la vini. So, like I can say, for example, let me write the example. That means I wish you a happy new year. I can say also, we, Jukene and I, wish you all a fantastic new year and I hope you will keep on learning with us. Jukene avem souhaite yon bon ane et espere que na continue à apprendre avec anglais tout partout. This is the first word, wish, ou utilise l pou souhaite on moun, pou, pou fon souhait. Make a wish, nou kontan de sa, make a wish. So, fè on souhait. This is the first one. Now let's go to the second. The second expression. Now I have an expression. This expression is New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Can you repeat? New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. What it means? Let me define it first in English and I'm going to tell you what it means in Creole. This expression means the evening of the 31st of December. Ça c'est dans la soirée de 31 décembre, quelque chose à Nikil Kaya. Now we're living in 20 or 19 or 2019. After maybe one day, after tomorrow, tomorrow will be in 2020. Or you can say 2020. C'est dans la soirée de 31 décembre. Eh bien, New Year's Eve. Yo traduit ça par réveillon. My question for you is Where are you going? What are you going to do on New Year's Eve? Qui sont prêts à le faire dans le réveillon? Avez dit dans le 31 décembre dans la soirée. I'm talking about today. What are you going to do today on this New Year's Eve? Qui sont prêts à le faire dans le réveillon ça à soir? What are you going to do on New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve. Réveillon, c'est 31 décembre. Quelque soit année qu'il y a. Instead of saying December 31st, say New Year's Eve when you're talking about evening of this moment. Lorsqu'on parle de 31 décembre, on est capable de dire New Year's Eve plus précisément, on va parler dans la soirée. C'est période ou bien période de festivité, ça. New Year's Eve. This is the second 
expression. The first one is a word, and the second one is an expression. The third one is fireworks. Fire works, not fireworks. It's fire works. Fire, fire, you know fire, fire, fireworks. Fireworks are display of colored explosives and smoke for amusement. Fireworks always in blue wall are display of colored explosives and smoke for amusement. Fireworks say yon explosif coloré qui la pour amuser moun nan période de festivité like carnival, like Christmas and New Year's Eve they celebrate or January 1st of each year they use fireworks. Fireworks la se sa yo utilize pou an beli ke nou menm nou rele feu d'artifis la. For example, I can say Fireworks always light up the sky and beautify the environment on New Year's Eve, for example. Feu d'artifice toujours clairé celle là et embellit environnement surtout dans période de New Year's Eve. Qui ça au fait durant période de 31 décembre? They raise one's glasses. You see? Raise one's glasses. Raise one's glasses. Glasses. Na répéter après. Raise one's glasses. Raise one's glasses. Do you want to know what this expression means? Yeah, of course. This expression means drink a toast. Drink a toast, you know, a toast. Says toast. When I'm talking about toast, let's gonna parle de trinquer. Okay. When I say raise one's glasses, that means drink for a kind of event. For example, this New Year's Eve, we just raise one's glasses. For example, we can say. Let's raise our glasses to the new year. Anu leve veno. C'est ça, raise one's glasses, man. Li signifi anu leve veno. For example, if you have a gas in your home, so you just want to drink a toast for the gas or with the gas. Ou juste vle boe on ve avec invite ya. And then you say, let's raise our glasses for this awesome guest today. Anu leve veno an le pou invite important sa ou bien invite special sa. This is when you just raise your glass. Ring out the old. You see? Ring out the old. What it means, do you like to know? And I'm sure. So let's go. Ring out the old means the celebration of the end of a year. Celebrate the end of a year is ring out the old. For example, I am See, I am ringing out the old with my fans this year. I am ringing out the old with my fans this year. What it means? Ça signifie ring out the old. Célébrer fin année. Chaque année, quelque soit année, like 2019, ou célébrer fin année 2019 là, eh bien, pour dire ring out the old. Where are you going to ring out the old? Where are you going to ring out the old? Qui côté qu'on pourrait célébrer fin année? But me, I say that I am ringing out the old with my fans this year. Like with my Facebook and YouTube fans. I love you so much. This is the reason why I am ringing out the old with you this year. Number six, New Year's Day. You know, let me tell you something, guys. When you see day and capital letter, that means party. They're celebrating something. 
But when you see it with lowercase letter, it means the ordinary day that we have like Sunday, Monday, etc. Qui ça me dit là? Day qui est écrit avec lettre majuscule yo, ça signifie fête. À moins que tu as commencé une phrase. Like day, tel bagay ou commence une phrase. Ok? Sinon, de pour écrit day avec capital letter, li signifie fête. Like Mother's Day, Father's Day, Independence Day, etc. So, New Year's Day, this is what I am talking about. New Year's Day is the 1st of January, whatever year it is. Quel que soit année qu'il signifie que New Year's Day là signifie le premier jour de l'année. Ok, ou du moins en français, si je parle français, <laughs> le jour de l'an. Ok, so the first year of January. Well, let me get an example for you because I know most of you are Haitian watching me now. So in Haitian culture, people eat soup to celebrate the independence of Haiti. Ça signifie que na culture haïtienne, moun yo yo, la ka nou nou di bwè soup. In an English they say eat soup. Moun yo manje soup ou bien bwè soup pour célébrer eh bien l'indépendance d'Haïti. C'est yon tradition. So you can ask question to say where are you going to celebrate your New Year's Day? Ki kote ko pral célébrer eh bien 1er janvier, nous connaissons 1er janvier is Independence Day. I was talking about day, capital letter, fête de l'indépendance en Haïti. This is the sixth one. This is the number six or sixth one. Now let's go to the seventh one. The seventh one is ring in the new year. Let's say it fast now is ring in the new year. Ring in the new year. Ring in the new year. When you're speaking fast, you know, TH, you reduce. You say, ring in the new year. Ring in the new year. What ring in the new year means? Ring in the new year means celebrate the beginning of a new year. When you're celebrating the beginning of a new year, you can use this expression. Ring in the new year. My question for you, as an example, for instance... How are you going to ring in the new year? It means, comment ou pral fete ou bien célébrer commencement année? What's your wish for the beginning of the year? Qui soit pour nouvelle année, pour commencement année? It's ring in the new year. Ring in the new year. Can you repeat after me? Ring in the new year. Celebrate the beginning of a new year, whatever year. The beginning of the new year that we're going to celebrate is going to be the 2020 or 2020. So it's the seven expression that I bring for you today. Now, before the last is make a resolution. You see? Resolution. Make a resolution. When you're speaking fast, you say, make a, make a. You see? Make a resolution. If you have heard that, let me tell you what it means. When you make a resolution, you make a firm decision to do something. You see, when I write it like this, this is the abbreviation of something. Something. Not something. It's something. Make a firm. Okay, I don't say severe. I say firm here. A firm decision to do something. You are determined to do something. Now you can say make a resolution. Prendre une décision. Décider pour me faire un bagage, moi prendre une décision. Like you failed the last year or you failed 2019. Now you want to be successful in 2020 or 2020. You are going to make a decision or you want to make a resolution. Vous voulez prendre une décision, ok? Vous voulez prendre une résolution pour capable changer ça. My question is, 
My question as example. Are you going to make a resolution for this new year? Est-ce que vous allez prendre une décision pour nouvelle année ça? Or you can say, Are you going to make a New Year's resolution? Are you going to make a New Year's resolution? It's the same sentence. So now it's my bonus. It's the last sentence. Listen and watch to my bonus. Ça c'est bonus que m'gal pote pour nous. Gang 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 gang. The bonus. It's the bonus for you guys. The bonus. What it is? Qui ça bonus pour aujourd'hui a yé? M'vine avec un bonus à part de tout ça que m'de partagé avec nous là. Sous nouvel an avec fin d'année. Comment on dit fin d'année encore? Une période que nous avons célébré fin d'année. Est-ce que vous songez? Écris-le en bas dans le commentaire pour moi. Konya. Write it down. Write it. Ok? Write it for me. So, the bonus says, A slice of life. A slice of life. A slice of life. A slice of life is something that shows life as it really is. So, expression nous utilisons pour nous capable de parler de un bagage qui peint la réalité. Donc là, like I can say, let me give you an example. I can give you an example. I can say, example, this painting is truly a slice of life. This painting is truly a slice of life. Phrase ça signifie que peinture ça, tableau ça que artiste l'a dit ça, l'a dit faire, l'a réellement peint de la réalité ou bien le peint de la vie. Vous comprenez la réalité de la vie, à dire le décrit. Là, quand on regarde un tableau et pour être tableau à exprimer toute bagaille paysan yo, toute réalité que paysan yo a vivre là. This is what this expression means, a slice of life. Thank you for taking time to watch me, guys. Merci parce que nous prenons temps pour nous regarder la vidéo à, et faire répétition. Enjoy les partager là avec Zamion. Abonnez ou pas quoi abonner. Mais ma faut qu'on est soit abonné déjà ou après que et, et côté que marqué abonné à la gris. Mais si vous pas quoi abonner après le rouge. De vous abonner déjà ou elle pas rouge, pas checker sous lien encore sinon vous pouvez désabonner. Mais sous elle rouge. Cliquez sur lui pour capable abonner et sélectionner ti cloche pour pas rater une vidéo nou yo anglais tout partout là to help you to speak English like the native I love you my name is Daniel Anish next video you will learn new things bye bye guys